Hello and welcome to my stop of the Whim Whimsy Stamps Slimline Video Hop. I am Karen Hashik of Karen's Creative Cards and I love to make slimline cards. The very first slimline dies I bought were from Whimsy Stamps and you could win one of three $20 gift cards by commenting on my video before you hop to the next stop. My first slimline card is a Snowy Hugs card that features this Whimsy Stamps slimline die builder and this Frosty Hugs stamp set. You have this really cute little hugging couple there sending snow many hugs to you. And on the inside, I stamped Snow Unlike You with a couple more snowflakes. Can you see the snow on this card? Doesn't it look real? I'm going to show you how easy it is to achieve that effect. I am using Maker Forte's Marshmallow Paste snow flurries white color on this and all you do is you swipe some on I'm using like an old paintbrush type brush on to a piece of cardstock you don't need it to be real thick And then you heat it with a heat gun. And that realistic looking snow happens that quickly. You can also take like something like this with a small end, dip it in, and then dot it on the card. And that's what I did for these snowflakes there. But watch what happens if we take it a step further. I think I should probably... So I'm going to hold it with this, and I'm going to heat it from underneath. You see what's happening, how that's puffing up like that? Isn't that cool? It just raises it and it's just, you know, it's, an, it's amazing. It would go even higher if I kept going. Um, and then you can, if you want to use this on a card or on a mixed media piece, probably uh, use like a sealant on it. But what you can also do is just see how high that one got? And then I used a little glitter on it with a little bit of glue, um, which makes it sparkle. And that would be really cool if that was on a card. But when you break it up to use it like for a shaker, it doesn't really show. But um, that is a very cool effect that you can get from that Maker Forte Marshmallow Paste. And this is the card that I'm going to show you how to make. It is a shaker card. It uses the Slimline Marquee Slimline die from Whimsy Stamps. This is the first Slimline die I bought um, because they were the first one on the market with them. And then I also have this one from them. And I have um, that stamp set I showed you previously and this stamp set that's called uh, Snow Flurry. And I have a shaker card here um, with some um, stamped snowflakes and um, snow that's going to move around in the shaker and sending snow many hugs to you. And I'm going to show you how to make that card. Put it 
some room here. Jennifer McGuire recently showed how to stamp with white pigment ink inside laminating pouches and then run them through a laminator to seal the ink. And that's what I did for the top two windows here. Um, I don't know if you've tried stamping on acetate, um, but it is very, very hard to get that to dry and not to smear. And this is an easy way to get around that. So I've decided to use some smaller pouches. I have 3.7 by 5.2, 3x5, and I have it in my Misty. Um, I took one and drew the top two windows so I knew exactly where I wanted to stamp. And I am taking white pigment ink. I have Memories Unicorn here, but any pigment ink will do. Um, and for snowflakes, of course, you'd want white. And I am going to, um, I would add ink to these stamps. And then I have a laminating pouch set up here, um, open with my magnets and then press down and the laminating pouch will protect that ink and then I would put it through a laminator. Now I've done one in advance to save a little time as we were supposed to keep these pretty short and what I've done is um, I have stamped this in that laminating pouch and sealed it and then I attached it to this um, card front cut with that die set as I showed you. Um, on the back I have added Motion Crafts double-sided skinny foam tip strips. These are my favorite to do shaker cards with. Now I normally just do one layer for a shaker element, but um, when you have that snow it's a little thicker, so I have done two layers of the foam tip strips all the way around. And this bottom one is going to be the shaker. I have some Uh, Snowy Day 2 sequins and little snowmen and snowflakes from Cat Scrappiness that I'm going to put in here. And you know what I forgot to do? I was supposed to use this uh, powder tool all the way around and on the acetate too, but I think I can still do it, okay? And then I'm going to add some clear glass glitter that helps it move around a little bit and is very pretty in there. And then I'm going to add some of the snow that was prepared as I showed you. And um, basically you just take little pieces And I have a piece of acetate that I'm going to put on the top. So I'm going to remove the top covering of the shaker part here. I'm going to use the powder too on this too. Now that snow does tend to stick, but I think that looks okay because then it looks like real snow. So um, oftentimes it might stick 
to the top a little bit. And I can see that the acetate needs to be trimmed a little bit. So let's see how our shaker looks. It looks like real snow in there, doesn't it? I know it sticks a little to the top, but I do like that look. We're now going to remove the, less, the rest of the top of our two layers. And I need a little skinny tape. Sure, okay. Around the window. Sometimes that's the hardest part. There we go. I'm going to apply that to the front of our slimline car. And then I have a cute little penguin from that Snowy Hugs set. And he goes on there. And our Snow Much Fun card is complete. There's no one like you sending so many hugs for you. And our real realistic looking snow is shaking around in there. I had so much fun making these cards with whimsy slimline dies and stamps and maker forte snow. I hope you will give the ideas a try. Be sure to comment before hopping along and thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing. And thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.